Denver 7 News starts right now. And we begin at 5 with a health alert for you and your family. Right now, more than a dozen people in our state have the mumps. And this is enough that doctors are calling this an outbreak. And what's worse, the number is expected to rise. Denver 7's Mark Stewart's here. You've been asking the health experts, how do you avoid this? How do you stay healthy? It's the question we've all been asking. In fact, the number one piece of advice from doctors is to make sure you have your shots as well as your children. You may be surprised to learn the vaccine for the mumps loses strength over time. Let me run down the numbers. At least 14 cases of the mumps in Colorado. 11 of those cases in Metro Denver are related. That is why the state is now calling this an outbreak. I asked, but doctors would not discuss the specifics of the connection. As far as the symptoms, it's much more than a cold. It's a little bit different than when you have just glands that might be swollen from a sore throat. This is going to be a bit, you know, larger than that, I would say. And it's really going to be your cheeks and your jaw. So if you think you may be sick, doctors from the state suggest that you call your own personal physician ahead of time. And because this is contagious, they may even want you to go to a separate entrance, even meet outside. Shannon, by the way, Colorado is not alone. Several other states are dealing with the mumps right now. Nearly 300 cases in Washington state alone. Appreciate you staying on top of that. We know you still have a lot of questions. Now, right now on the DenverChannel.com, we have information to help figure out just how protected you are and how long it takes for the symptoms to appear.